Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more 48 hour contest by Mag Mammal. We're going to 8th place by Corby. I believe Corby might be a judge in one of the contests, maybe in Mag Mammal 3. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, Braving New Depths. 79th, uh, 79 points. And it looks like. Well, it was kind of a disparity um, between too low and too high. All right, well, so far, starting off... Oh, these things? Do those count as enemies or gimmicks? I still don't know. So those clocks... For those who aren't aware of what the clocks are, those are from the final boss of Mega Man 5 for the Game Boy. <laughs> One phase of them uses requires the clocks to actually damage the final boss. They have never appeared anywhere else. I am completely thrown off by their appearance here. Okay. So we have uh, cannons and worms and those clocks, and we have a lot of uh, blade bombs, which we clearly have to be using all our resources to get through, except in those cases where we do not want to get through them. This was one of those cases. Now I have some issues. Fortunately, my issues could be solved by snakes. Actually, that's kind of... that's not a possible jump. So it looks like we do want to blow those up. So that we can actually get through. Figuring things out slowly but surely. This is a stage where you really have to be careful of what you use, though. Now, here's my question Will snakes travel up? Though? Yes. Perfect. Ah, Search Snake. A game where you're actually useful. It's hard to imagine. But somehow it happened. Alright, and we have Ringman platforms. We haven't seen too many of these. They've been reasonably creatively used when we have seen them, though. I'd say. Oh, jeez. I have to... finesse this a little bit more. I did not finesse that a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Eyes open because I knew that was going to be a case of it's going to ap appear at you at some point. All right. What do we have here? Looks like we have race. Race! 
I successfully raced the platform! Oh, oh, this is an interesting variation of Flower Clock. Not a difficult variation, but an interesting one. Oof. Reaction Time Central has somehow succeeded, which is very strange and probably illegal, but you know what? I will just pretend. Uh, we'll be like the uh, Bicky Bear who. Uh, we're just, just pretending to have paid for his trip. Why don't I trust this? Well, I had no reason not to trust it, apparently, but... Still made me slightly nervous, so I had to be very careful. Just like I had to be careful to uh, clear out that path first. Get him down there. Uh, I have to do more than just get him down there, apparently. Okay, good enough. <laughs> Cheater. Okay. We will... We will cheat ourselves, then. <laughs> really? Oh, hey, we can just cut them apart without them blowing up? I'm just taking way too much damage that I really should not be taking, I think. I don't know where my mind was on that one. That was very obviously not what I was meant to do, so... The jump did not quite come out there. Oh, but really... Wow, okay, not fair. Forget it. I don't need that stuff anyway. But if I do, I can just get it with me. Much better. And we made it through! It's Gyroman! Gyroman, you're not too difficult. I somehow did a code input, apparently? But it was not 
I did not get the output of anything other than just the normal uh, shot, I don't think. That wasn't too bad. This is a boss arena that didn't make Gyro Man annoying to fight. Thank goodness. Owlbells? Um, not sure what those are. I mean, that's true of a lot of challenges. A weapon utility just kind of bypasses them, but... No one has to use the weapons, either. Uh, the owl bells are probably the clocks. I mean, it makes sense that I wouldn't know what those are because they literally exist for about 30 seconds in the entire series. It's a little bit weird jockeying them, but, you know, I managed to do most of the things that you were supposed to do with them, so I'm, I feel it was pretty well done. What more could a player want? Well, this player wants some more goddamn checkpoints. Well, I mean, you answered your own question there. To be fair, are there any new Mega Man players playing this game? Like, I feel if you're a new player, you're playing the standard games first, getting decent at them, then branching out to more traditional fan games, and then branching out to something like this. <coughs> I might be wrong. I'd say it made top 10. That was a pretty close assessment. <coughs> yeah, why would anyone say that? Who would even think of that? The devs of this engine, apparently. I don't think any of the rooms are too busy as long as you're paying attention, unlike a certain someone who just kind of spaced out. Do we have to make the puns? I suppose we have to make the puns. 
Listen to me. I complaining about puns one episode after I made that horrible one. It never fails. Every time I try to have a vac peaceful vacation at sea, some noisy cruise ship shows up and ruins it. It could go higher. Couldn't you? Well, maybe not. Right, here's Power Slam! That is a name. We're almost at the end, and I still haven't been featured in a single simulation! Were the creators afraid of my bulging muscles? Scared of my intense eyes? Intimidated by my strong lavender scent? Uh, lavender scent? Um, well, it's entirely possible that you just weren't rolled in any boxes. Or that you were, and the, devs, uh, the level creator took one look and said, NOPE! There is NPCs up the wazoo around here. Don't worry about us. We're still in love after 30 years of marriage, even if we sometimes fight like cats and dogs. I reordered the words there, but uh, you get the picture. Kitten, I'm sorry I'm yelled. I, I'm sorry I yelled. I was upset about forgetting the luggage. On the bright side, neither of us wears clothes. Uh, yeah, what kind of luggage did you really need? Uh-oh. Crystal Joe, come on, you know you wanna. And Beer Marie. No! I'm afraid of outer space! Oh, this, is this next one is space-themed. We'll take it on next time. That's all for me for now. Until then, this is Doc. I'll see you later.